Today's topic is the progress that Sharna, who is in the room next door to me here in the Aesthetic Clinic in Clonakilty, how she is getting on with her polynucleotide scalp injectables that we are doing. So we have all the records of Sharna's uh, treatments to date. Uh, and today we are doing treatment number seven of polynucleotides specific for hair. Right, the treatment plan is that she has one injection every week for the first four weeks, and then for the second set of four injections, we can spread them out to 10 days or even two weeks. So Sharna is at injection number seven today. She's also doing all the things. She's doing her minoxidil serum. She's taking spironolactone orally. Um, and she's had one or two rounds of PRP with me earlier, but now we're fast tracking it because the polynucleotides tends to act way faster than the PRP. PRP is still fabulous, uh, but it's quite a slow route. Um, and with the polynucleotides, and these have changed, revolutionized um, hair loss in people, whereby we inject now it's not an intramuscular injection, it's two cc's of, of this, so two cc's is a very small amount and it's injected, this obviously is in a blister sterile pack, but I took out the needle because oftentimes people think, oh my God, how many times are you going to inject me into my scalp? Here's the needle. You can barely see it. It's tiny, tiny. So it's injected tiny little blebs into the areas that are bothering you uh, under the scalp, just barely under the scalp. Now I've brought this injection needle. This is a green needle that we use as a nurse that we were doing for, if I was giving you an intramuscular injection into your bottom or for a vaccine or whatever. And that's it, right? So just for comparison, this is the other one. Can I just see now, can you see that? There you go, tiny. And sure, I never found it a problem. Um, as the time goes on, it tends to be a little bit more ouchy, a little bit more spicy as time goes on, but that's usually an indication that the blood flow is um, after improving, but sadly so is the nerve supply. <laughs> anyway, so uh, just to give you some sort of a visual here. So this is a cross section of, of skin. So this is your scalp, with your lovely uh, hairs growing up here, and they're usually nice and spaced like that. Just to let you know that the hair follicle, that's it here, this structure here, and the hair follicle starts down here. This is it in a cross section. Starts down here, um, and then this red and uh, blue uh, blood supply that you see here surrounds the hair follicle, bringing the nutrients. This is why we ask you to take biotin, which is good for hair and nails, and to have plenty of protein as well. Always have protein at every meal because hair is dead protein. It's called keratin. So we want the blood supply to bring those nutrients to your follicle, stimulate it, and it takes 16 whole weeks to get from down there up to even just to peek through here. So you might think there's nothing happening, but for 16 weeks, plenty. And happening. then for that tiny, tiny little baby here, when it peeps through here, for it to become a mature and growing hair, takes another 16 weeks. So that is why the whole 16 week thing, you kind of think there's nothing happening, but when it actually peeks through, it's thin to start with. And then as time goes on, it gets thicker and becomes a mature hair. So that's another 16 weeks. So that is why we say you are not going to see results for seven to nine months. Now, you have to do all the things that we ask you. There is no point in you dropping two, 4,000 euros um, in having polynucleotides uh, with us for your injectables if you're not going to do the other things that we ask you to do. So as it happens, Sharna was with Professor Katrina Ryan in uh, Dublin and she put her on oral spironolactone and oral minoxidil. Now, I think they've dropped the oral minoxidil now in favour of the topical minoxidil, but they're doing all the things. So in the right candidate, if the follicles are open for stimulation, well then these are just going to sort of tell them to wake up and you rock on. It's a bit like planting a seed. You can't see what's going under, on underneath the earth for a long time, but you've got to do all the things on top, like wash it and make sure that it's in a fertile ground. And then you start to see it actually start to peep through and then as they say, out of acorns, uh, it was a tiny acorns, um, 
oak trees grow and it's the same with your hair. All right, that's a biology lesson for you now today. Uh, I hope it helps. And if you are in any way wondering, are you a suitable candidate to have this kind of work done, um, either by PRP, which is a little bit on the slower uh, thing, a slower route, or polynucleotides, there is a fee um, uh, consideration. But please book in for a consultation and I'll let you know whether you're a suitable candidate or not.